Hello guys welcome back to the new video. In today's video we are going to see 5 best single player offline action games. So without any further delay let's get into video. First Unbroken Soul. Unbroken Soul Light is a fun 2D retro pixel art action platformer game where we fight and jump our way through hordes of enemies and challenges scattered across 9 regions while trying to unravel a mysterious story. Each region is split into smaller sections that we complete with our sword and bow, with a unique boss waiting at the end of every region. Before entering a new region, we can spend coins earned through gameplay at various on PCs to upgrade our equipment, abilities, and even buy potions that improve our strength until our next death. The controls work decently well, with both joystick, D-pad, and Bluetooth controller options. My only gripe is that it is easy to misclick while navigating the settings menu. The graphics aren't stunning, but the unforgiving level design and obstacles provide a fun and challenging experience rich in deaths. The game is relatively quickly completed, but there are thankfully multiple difficulty settings to pick from to make the journey take a bit longer. Second Don't Look Back don't Look Back is a short action platformer game inspired by the ancient Greek myth about Orpheus and Eurydice. In order to bring his deceased beloved back from the dead, our protagonist descend into the depths of the underworld to confront the Lord of the Dead. Our journey consists of a series of platforming and shooting challenges full of traps and obstacles that require precise jumping and enemies that must be shot with our handgun. There are even two powerful bosses with unique moves that force us to adopt new strategies. The game features minimalistic graphics and gloomy music, which create a dark atmosphere that perfectly fits the story being told. It is amazing to see how famous indie developer Terry Kevinag manages to convey a touching emotional narrative through such simplistic means. However, the experience is somewhat ruined by the terrible controls where tiny buttons have hitboxes so small that it is impossible to consistently execute the necessary moves. Don't Look Back is completely free, without ads. Despite the poor controls, I still recommend playing and finishing it just to see how good games should be made. Third Carmageddon Carmageddon is the port of an undying PC classic in which we participate in timed races against other opponents whom we mercilessly whack until they bleed oil everywhere. The game has us drive ridiculously weaponized cars in competitions against five other challengers on various racetracks full of dangerous obstacles and helpless people. To win, we must either finish the course within the time limit, or crash other cars until we are the only one left. Performing stunts and dealing damage to opponents or pedestrians grant us additional time and credits. The latter is spent on in-game repairs and car upgrades between races. The game is nicely ported to mobile platforms, with improved 3D graphics, realistic physics, original music and sounds, cutscenes, and several highly adjustable control schemes. This is the full nostalgic PC experience packed into a mobile format. Carmageddon monetizes through ads and a $1 in-app purchase to instantly unlock all the cars and tracks that also become available as we progress through the gameplay. The game contains explicit violence and gore, but if that is not a problem for you, this is one of the best racing games on mobile. Fourth Drake and Trap Drake and Trap is a unique action dungeon crawler RPG where we lead a main character and a team of spawnable fantasy heroes through dungeons full of traps, chests, monsters, and bosses in both PvE and PvP game modes. Before heading into the 500 dungeon levels, we define a deck of 5 heroes that each have unique stats, abilities, and a mana cost. During combat, we use a left side joystick to control our character while spawning multiple of each hero by spending mana that recovers over time. The heroes trace our main character and automatically attack nearby enemies and traps, unless we tap a button to make them passive. The strategy and almost puzzle-like nature of the dungeons force us to constantly switch between aggressive and passive hero behavior, to avoid traps and strong boss attacks, 
which creates a fun and engaging gameplay experience. In addition to the normal dungeons, the game features both a ranked mode and an arena, where we must finish a dungeon faster than six other players, who recently played the same dungeon. Drake and Trap monetizes through incentivized ads and in-app purchases, to unlock and level up heroes faster, acquire high-tier loot, and recover energy. The energy system limits our play session length, but we get so much energy and premium currency for free through achievements and daily rewards, that the game can easily be enjoyed as a free player. 5th Rocky Rampage Rocky Rampage is a fun and polished new side-scrolling toss game in the vein of Burrito Bison, Learn to Fly and similar old Flash browser games. The goal is to get as far into the world as possible by first perfectly timing our launch for maximum forward momentum, and then strategically jumping as often as we can so we can hit boosters and avoid enemy traps slowing us down. The graphics looks great, progression is nicely paced and monetizing through incentivized ads and unnecessary in-app purchases for coin doublers, cosmetics, and consumables, the game is easily enjoyable as a free player. So that's it for this video we'll see you in the next one.